Right after Rishi Sunak assuming the British Premiership, his finance minister Jeremy Hunt got the ball rolling when he reversed a £32 billion in corporate tax cuts that formed the bedrock of the plan to boost growth under former Prime Minister Liz Truss. Now, increased taxation of corporations would be a more agreeable solution for Sunak and company. According to Finance Minister Jeremy Hunt, corporate taxes will increase from 19% to 25% in the coming spring. According to the Financial Times, Hunt may extend a windfall tax on profits in order to target oil and gas company earnings. But according to calculations by an influential think tank, the IFS, Sunak and his finance minister Jeremy Hunt still need to find between 30 to 40 billion pounds in savings to bring down public debt as a share of the economy in the next five years. With the least successful economy in the G7, half the country seemingly on strike, a huge inflation and cost of living crisis, all exhibited by Brexit. The UK has now regained its 1970s crown as the sixth man of Europe. Polls show most Britons now think Brexit was a mistake. The EU's approval rating in Britain are sky high after successful responses of the EU to the pandemic and Ukraine. For a nation like Britain that's handicapped by a colonial hangovers, use of soft power tools like aid and global partnership is the only way to restore its receding clout and credibility in global theatre, but that too doesn't seem to happen either. As during his chancellorship under former Prime Minister Boris Johnson, Rishi Sunak slashed British overseas aid from 0.7% to 0.5% of gross national income at a time of growing international need. Now it has emerged that about a third of all remaining UK foreign aid is spent at home, most of it on housing channel migrants.